Hey guys, let's talk about learn math fast. If you're new here, I'm Nikki. Um, I'm a homeschooled mom to an only child. We have been um, taking advantage of this learn math fast um, curriculum. And I'll tell you everything that we have done so far, I have really enjoyed. And to kind of back up and talk about like what we've done so far is we've pretty much been a the good and the beautiful math user for our entire homeschool career um career I don't even know if that's the right verbiage but we have used it for kindergarten um <clears throat> first and second and then last year we used uh, math with confidence and this year we were back to the good and the beautiful because it was directed more independent towards the student. And so she kind of asked for these things and I was kind of on board because I um, work part-time. And so that was helping a little bit with her having some of these things to do um, <clears throat> that's not super teacher intensive, but we've kind of hit a snag and I really want to focus on her really, really retaining her math facts. And so I came across a video or something on YouTube where um, someone was talking about this learn math fast. And I'm like, you know, I'm just going to get it. Worst case scenario, it doesn't work. We don't use it. And I just make more time in my schedule to um, do some of these uh, lessons with her in her good and the beautiful math which I fully intend to go back to um, I do still really like it it's just we are at the point where we are advancing in math and we're being held back because of some of our math facts that aren't as strong as I'd like them to be so <clears throat> This book, there's, I believe, four volumes, um, and that'll take you to basically take your ACTs. So from start to finish, you can learn everything there is to know about math. Now, when I say that we really are taking this back, um, we're taking this back. Like, we're starting from the get-go. So <clears throat> I'm just going to kind of briefly discuss like what the author of this curriculum has said how to use this program. So this program can be used by anyone who can count to 100, can read and write numbers, has a basic understanding of their base 10 system. It can be used a different, a few different ways depending on your age and skill of your student. I recommend everyone start with volume one, which is this, um, <clears throat> without skipping any lessons. Look below for the description that best describes your student. So there is a six to eight, uh, older struggling students, nine to 14. And then there's a high school age or older struggling to graduate. And then there's a fast track, which they explain how you can use this to fast track your way through math in less than a year. So my daughter is nine. So we went with the older struggling students. So it does say to start with volume one, page one, which is exactly what we did. Um, the teacher should read the lesson aloud while the student moves around the coins. This is starting out with, I believe, pennies. And so um, it says some students can learn by reading on their own, others cannot. If they enjoy reading, then you can have them read the book on their own. Um, and then at the end of the lesson, complete the worksheet. Uh, there is a verbal game described in the book and they want you to play the game throughout the day, uh, like when you're folding clothes or as a car game. And then it says stay on the lesson for as long as it takes for your student, student to learn the combinations um, that equal five. That is their only job. They must learn all ways to equal five, as well as the opposite. If it takes a few days to complete, it's okay. It also says that they have um, more on their website. 
so that existing customers can like take a look at. I have an ADHD child and speed and memorization are just two things that um, don't really come together for us. And so I'm not using this curriculum for speed and memorization as much as I'm using it for like the repetitiveness of it so that it's kind of just keeps drilling it in the head. Um, and I think that's the way she's going to remember them and gain as much speed as she can. So <clears throat> uh, it's a strong and confident answers are the goal that speed isn't the goal. So, um, but it wants you to, once they've figured it out, you can move on to the next lesson or you can go back and practice some more. They can choose which method they want to repeat. Um, and then older students, it says, may get through several lessons in one day. As long as they're still sitting up with a smile on their face, keep going. But once it's, they sit back and drop the pencil, it's time to stop. So I love that they add that in there and really clarify what to look for in your student because I have often pushed that limit and there are a lot of times where I wish that I did not. So now I wanted to touch on what they mean by uh, how we can at least fast track this. So for high school or older, it does say that as long as they fully understand each lesson, they can move on to the next and they could like complete at least one per day, six days a week. They're self-directing all the answers and full solutions are in the back of each book. Um, so you don't need an instructor for this <clears throat> as long as your child is capable. It does say that after completing um, volumes one through seven, so I apologize, I'm already wrong. There's seven volumes, not four. Um, you will be ready to take the SAT, ACT, GED, or any college placement test. Um, the fast track is to read every lesson without completing the worksheet, which we're kind of doing. I'm not doing the time test at the end of the lessons, um, and she's not completing each one if I think she's got like the early stuff pretty solid. There is like a phone number that you can use to contact them if you have any questions or comments, which I thought was really helpful. So let's just get into the way the book is. This is a very black and white, nothing fun about this at all the way it looks. So. If you are one who's coming from the good and the beautiful where it's all beautiful and colorful and whatever, this may be a big change to you and your student. But um, it starts with a basic addition and subtraction using coins to kind of move them around and show you the different, um, how to make a certain number or problem <clears throat> or answer. So like adding and subtracting numbers up to five. And then, um, like, it's word for word exactly like what you're supposed to say, what you're supposed to do. And then it has the worksheet. So, I wouldn't, I would say that this is fairly simple. And for us, like, we did a lot of this verbally versus her, like, writing them down. Um, but it does have a, like, 30 second test that they want you to complete. I found that really, really, really difficult, even for myself. I'm not quite sure. I, I mean, not even just that we couldn't complete it in 30 seconds, but I couldn't even read the questions or the problems fast enough for her to be able to complete it in 30 seconds. And I was pretty much trying to read super fast. So keep that in mind that I feel like this should be used as a tool as well and like do your best. Like if they can do it under a minute, I think that would be a-okay in my book too. But um, this was what the worksheet looks like. And then this is what the test looks like um, for the beginning parts. I'm not sure how much it progresses as we go on, but then literally it goes, okay, we've learned how to add up to five. Now we're up to six. And then you do the opposite of that. 
so subtracting as well. And then it goes up to seven, up to eight. So we breezed through these really fast. And then at some point, if I felt she needed some more work, um, I did have her <clears throat> complete the worksheet. And then we would do like the test verbally. So again, like use it how you see fit. We've gone pretty far. We're almost into the next chapter, I believe. We're like lesson 13. So we have really breezed through this. Um, the worksheets still, you know, stay the same. There's just a bunch of problems on a page. I do have her <clears throat> so it's not overwhelming. Let me just take a blank page. It's very easy to just cover up and you know this is a tip for any math or curriculum just cover them up and that way they only see so many at a time and then keep going down the row or you could do it the other way where it's you know up and down up and down whatnot however you want to do it um for anyone that may struggle with seeing a lot on a page like I know that can be overwhelming for some kids so um <clears throat> I really enjoy this because it's simple the explanations are simple it gets right to the point so it's like I'm going to just show you lesson 13 for instance it's like look at this problem when the numbers are stacked like this you start by adding the numbers on the right side first then you know that three plus four is seven. So put the seven under the four and next add the numbers on the left. It's very step by step. And so I feel like that sometimes in her other curriculum, that like part of it just gets kind of smooshed together, I feel like in some things. So it's very much a visual to the point um, and then they're really like short lessons. And then again, the worksheet. So by the end of volume one chapters, there's 49 lessons. Is that the last one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's a final test in the back of the book as well. Um, <clears throat> so they're going over weight. It looks like is the very last lesson in the book. But it has, it might be like the theme for the fourth chapter. Yes. So the fourth chapter is U.S. Standard Measurement. Chapter one, you're basically focusing on addition and subtraction, basically up to, <clears throat> uh, I believe, around 10. And then in chapter two, we're doing adding numbers larger than 10 and going into, um, double digits, stuff like that. And then in chapter three, we get into multiplication and division. And then chapter four, like I said, was US standard measurements. Um, and that is a pretty short chapter. There's only about four lessons. And then there is a final test. So there's only 49 lessons to one volume. Now, most curriculum companies per year are what, 120 at the, at the low end. So you could totally fit this into probably the first half of your year um, for like maybe your first semester and breeze through this depending on why you're using this curriculum, if you're trying to fast track it or if you're just using this in general as your sole math curriculum. I really want to just do the addition, subtraction, the beginnings of multiplication and division and then basically this whole book basically um, as kind of just like an extra added practice for her to really nail in those facts because I like the way it is a master type approach and they drill it in so once I have a solid thing on the rest of this then we're going to kind of move on back to the good and the beautiful so I'm not sure if we're gonna pick up volume two or not and always use this as kind of like an easy, quick thing to make sure she's on the right track. I don't know, I haven't decided I need to do more of this and see where we go from here. 
So that is learn math fast. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, I purchased this off of Amazon. So I will also have a link for you and where you can purchase this as well um, in the description box. So let me know if you've used this, what your thoughts are, what math you're using and what works for you. And I will see you in my next video.